it was. So now what we have left to do, we got the main feeder wires to put in and we have the shunt wires also. Now again, oftentimes the main feeder wires will be landed first, but in this case it worked out better for us to do them last. Okay, the next wire that I want to do is going to be the neutral. I want to get that out of the way. Now the neutral is going to land right here. Here's the neutral bus and it's going to land okay. in this lug. And we'll have to bend it up and it's got to bend inside this bracket. Now, remember when you're bending conduit, there's a deduct when you bend a 90? Well, it's similar with wire. You can't bend it here because it will actually gain a little bit. So it's about four to six and even eight times the width of the wire on bigger wires when you bend it. So I'm going to go back at just a couple inches to make sure it's identified and it's easily identified and you understand which wire it is. Okay, so there it goes and our neutral there. Okay, so now we just take an Allen wrench, trying to explain and maybe add a, a new point each time, get it in there nice and straight. I see that's where I want to uh, want to cut it. And this I don't have to mark it. I can, and you can see that once you get going and have some knowledge, you can make up a panel fairly rapidly and do a pretty nice and job. Oftentimes you're going to find out when you've got good technique, you go much faster than somebody using a lot more effort with bad technique. And that just seems to be how life works. So that's my philosophy lesson for the day. Okay, there's now before.